Hey guys, at BB Matson here. We're uh, going to continue work on the 1972 CL350. This time, we're going to get the fenders off. We're going to get the rear fender off, and we're going to get the front fender off. All right. And to do that, all you're going to need is a 17 millimeter wrench, and you're going to need your trusty 10 millimeter wrench. Have you decided to wear one around your neck yet? Because you're going to need this all the time when working on these vintage Honda motorcycles. Let's get to it. This should be a quick one. All right, when taking out the rear fender, it's pretty damn simple. Everything is gonna come out in one piece and there's actually only two bolts that hold everything on. So grab your 17 millimeter wrench and take out these two bolts. There's one here and there's one on the other side. Very, very, very simple. There's not even a nut on the other side if I remember correctly. It should just all come apart really, really easy. It's also going to take your uh, rear signals off the bike as well. So um, just work these off and this fender is going to be free. I mean, I was really surprised when I was working on my CB350 um, that these are actually the only two bolts that hold the, the whole darn uh, rear fender on. Um, you know, I thought it'd be way more elaborate, but it's actually just these two bolts and they're actually a special bolt. Uh, my CB350, when I bought it, was actually missing one, and I had to go to eBay to find one. Um, but here, let me show you what's going on. So the light is actually just going to fall right off. All right. We can deal with that here in just a sec, but I want to show you this bolt. So it's pretty special. We've got a rubber uh, grommet kind of a thing, and then we've got one big washer, but check out this bolt. All right. Very special. Very, very uh, sought after part, if you will. So that's it. We're halfway there already. Very, very easy. Do not lose this bolt. All right. Second verse, same as the first. We're going to pull this second one right here. Again, that's going to take the light right with it. Everything right there. So just take it out. It's that easy. And you're going to see here in just a sec how... Uh, this whole thing is going to come apart real, real quick once we uh, once we get this out of here. All right. So oh, I'm going to have to keep using the wrench. This thing's pretty crusty. Um, I do remember, I, I want to say I spent like 10 bucks. Okay, there we go. Getting these bolts. So again, don't lose the bolts. Um, there we go. We got washer. It's a complete set. So that's really, really great to see. Um, also, just... Get this light out of the way. Just pull the wires through. There's one light and let's go grab the other. Now you may have to bend these little uh, wire holds, but uh, it'll come right off. There you go. I'm really bummed that the lens for this light is actually gone, but uh, oh well, can't win them all. There we go, lights out. And look at this. This fender is completely loose. All right, and once that's pulled off, just Pull the rear fender out. There you go. There it is. The wiring for everything actually runs down the bottom of it and into this. We'll disassemble all of this separately, but for now, that rear fender is off. Next thing we're going to tackle is this front fender, and this is actually pretty simple as well. It's just four bolts, two on each side. Um, we're going to pull those out, and that's where you need your trusty 10 millimeter wrench. There ain't no good angle. I've been trying to like get a good angle here to show you, you know, how these come out. But honestly, it's just getting in here and, and loosening up these uh, on each side, those two bolts. I'm going to pull those out. Um, sadly, there's really not a good angle for me to show you what's going on. Um, but it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So, uh, um, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty simple. We'll have this fender out of here in no time. I'll be back at you at a flash. There's really a uh, no secret trick, uh, to doing it. It's kind of a tight space. Could grab my 10 millimeter ratchet. Would probably go a lot faster actually. All right. We're just going to switch this up. Quarter inch set fits in here real good. Should make this go real, real quick. Just pull these bolts out. A little, little long-winded, of course. 
I'll see a lot of people not putting these fenders back on their bike um, on the front because they do look really cool. They look mean, you know, without the front fender. But I think they're a really important thing. A little washer on there, too, just to note. Okay, there's a uh, – da, 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 da. there we go. There is a washer there, so make sure you don't lose that. Let's go attack this other one and do that. But, yeah, the uh, this actually is a support for the front forks as well. Um, so I, I do think that they are – Really, really, really important uh, to keep these on on the bike. Now, you can chop the fender. You know, you can minimize it. But I, I, I've seen some people build their bikes out and not put these, uh, put these fenders back on. And I get it. Aesthetically, it looks really, really cool. But, man, I don't know. Um, these other, Otherwise, I, I, I worry that, you know, enough, you know, the, the connection on the hub isn't enough. So there we go. This one came out. There we go. There's our second nut and bolt. Let's move to the other side. All right. Second verse. Same as the first. Just start taking. You can already see that fender is wanting to come off of there. So that's awesome. These bolts were nice and free. Um, broke away right away. And again, I doused these things with WD-40. Um, I, I really think that that is really important that you guys do that when you're getting into these 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 old bikes. Give it time to soak in. Got to give these nuts and bolts some some breathing room. This one's about ready to fall out. All right, there we go. One to go. Let's grab this one and let's start uh, pulling this one off. And this fender is going to pull right off. I mean. Again, this is, uh, oh, my ratchet flipped on me. I hate that when that happens, man. I hate that when that happens. Like working on stuff, and there, it flipped back again. Why does it keep doing that? There we go. Come on. Come on. But again, I do think that uh, these fenders do play an important structural role. I could be totally wrong on that, but I would be super nervous um, not putting this back on. Um, this fender is bent just a little bit. There's one little ding in it. I think I'm going to be able to get it out, though. And it looks like, for the most part, most of everything that's, you know, I, I don't think it's through the chrome. I think I'm going to actually be able to polish this up pretty effectively. I think it'll be all right. It's savable. Somebody's going to need it if I don't, you know, decide, you know, that I'm going to rebuild this bike. So there we go. It just fell right out. Um, let's uh, pull the fender. All right, so now we're pulling this off. Now, I really don't want to mess up these boots. So I'm going to push my boots up. Give this a nice lift. And these can be a little tricky, but I found that going backwards um, is a little bit easier than going through the front. Again, I want these boots out of the way. Really don't want to mess up my boots. You know, be a bummer. And this is going to push. I'm going to have to get a little... Get some torque involved here. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. That one's through. That's through. And now it's dropping right out the back end. And there is our front fender. Um, crusty on the bottom, but of course that's to be expected. But on the top, it looks pretty good. These things look mean. I'll give you a look without the fenders. <laughs> it looks so cool without the fenders. And there it is. Without the fenders. Don't they look freaking racy? They look so cool. Without these fenders, I know the fenders are important, but um, just the profile, the profile on these bikes, once you take that off, um, they look mean. Looks awesome. All right, guys, that's it for tonight, I think. I'm going to call it. We got the fenders off. We got the electrical out, the wiring harness out, coils, ignition, horn, all kinds of good stuff. Made some serious progress on the CL350 from 1972. We're getting real close to getting this motor out of here. So that's kind of exciting. I think we'll be tackling, tackling the wheels um, next time, getting that front wheel off. Not sure if I'll take the rear wheel off. Got to look and see. Got to configure how we're going to pull this motor out all by myself. So um, all good. Hey, guys, if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. It means a lot, all right? Um, if you have some suggestions or you think I totally muffed something up, please leave a comment. I'd love to start engaging with you guys a little bit. Um, also. 
I'm sharing stuff on Instagram and Twitter quite frequently. So uh, be sure to give me a follow over there at BV Matson. Love to communicate a little bit more. I am going to call it a night. This has been a blast today. Um, keep on wrenching, everybody. Have fun. Dive into these bikes. They're not complicated. They're actually a ton of fun. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.